Tell us about the new products you're going to be rolling out. Yeah, so we, we've done a real big kind of refocus on product in the company this year, which is very exciting. Uh, you know, we kind of spent 2007 building the site as it is today, spent 2008, you know, making it grow and, and stopping it from breaking while we were just exploding. Spent 2009 building out a lot of the business, and now we're back to product, which is really fun. Um, we're working on really hard on the viewer experience and the broadcaster experience. You know, a lot of the feedback and the data that we've collected tells us that it's just too hard um, to, to use live video. People don't quite understand the medium. It's still very new. So, you know, we really need to make it simple for them to both create it, to consume it, to share it. Um, all of that is, is, is still a little bit hard in today's world. So we're working on making that simpler. Um, the other really exciting thing that we're doing that I'm most excited about is what we're calling pay-per-view. And essentially what that'll let you do is, you know, at first it'll be for limited partners, but eventually anybody, <coughs> excuse me, uh, eventually anybody on the site will be able to charge either on a broadcast basis or a subscription basis. So, you know, if you wanted to do a cooking show, you know, maybe give lessons or something and charge 10 bucks for that, we'd handle that. We'd handle the payments, the authentication. All you have to do is cook. You can, you know, collect the money at the end. And uh, I think that's a really exciting business. You know, a lot of the the media businesses on the web have kind of gotten away from charging for content. It's that old Jeff Zucker quote, right? We're trading analog dollars for digital dimes. Um, what we think we can do is actually charge the digital dollars. Um, you know, one thing that's cool about live, as opposed to something that's archived or recorded, is that it's very perishable. Um, you know, if I want to watch The Office from last night, I've got, in theory, unlimited time to do it. If I watch it today or tomorrow or the next day, um, it doesn't really change the experience for me. So I've got all the time in the world to find a way to do that for free. If we're talking about something that's happening right now where there's interactivity involved, you have only the amount of time of the show or the broadcast, and after that, it's just gone. So if you want to watch that content, you have to do it now. And that gives you know, us and, and the creators of that content a lot of power in, in charging for it and creating businesses around it that are, frankly, a little more straightforward than some of the more complicated businesses we've seen on the web over the last few years. How pervasive will live be and how will it get there and when might it be pervasive if unless it is right now yeah it's certainly not right now it's still you know we've grown to be a pretty big site but you know on this on the scale of, of things like youtube or facebook we're still you know small um, you know so we see a lot of room for growth we think essentially that live can play a part in almost every factor of the web uh, whether it's kind of the form that it's in right now which is you know media entertainment um, something like financial services, where if you wanted to have live tax consulting, someone kind of interacting via live video with you there, that's, that's a use case that probably needs more customization than we could provide on you know, the justin.tv website. But certainly the live video component of that is huge and would be, would be extremely powerful. Um, so I think that you know, kind of it's always safe to say this five, 10 year assumption. Um, I think really what we're gonna see is as people really understand the medium, you, know, you mentioned chat, Chat can seem very trivial, right? It's just text scrolling along. We've had it for years. It was on AOL and you know IRC before that. It's not new, but it actually drastically changes the experience. The, the analogy I use is it's sort of like watching a party on TV versus going to a party. You know, I assume the former would be very boring, uh, but the latter can be very fun. And the reason isn't that the content's any different. It's that you actually get to interact with it. Um, you know, wh when I can chat, I can not only interact with other viewers, but I can interact with a broadcaster. You know, we do a show from the office uh, every week where we just talk with users and then we answer questions. You know, they say, you know, ask us about the, the new channel page that we're designing and I can pull it up on my laptop and show it to them. And if we were doing it on YouTube or, you know, some recorded format, it would just be much harder to get that level of interaction. We would have to guess what they wanted to know about, you know, produce it. Maybe you get, you get some feedback after that, but the iteration on that is much, much slower. When it's live, it's just real time. It's like we're having a conversation. You know, if I were to record what I wanted to talk to you about from California and just send you a tape, maybe it would be interesting. I mean, I'm sure I would have some enlightening things to say, but I might not answer that one question that you really wanted to know about. And, you know, I could record another video, but it doesn't quite get the, the same point of sitting to, you know, next to each other and having a conversation. And I think that's where live is really gonna take off in that all these social services on the web, we've in some ways gotten away from being social, right? You sit at home and you post on Facebook and you record a video on YouTube and you upload photos to Flickr and there's nobody around you, you're alone, right? And, and it's in some ways that's not social at all. It's the least social thing you could do. You know, Justin TV, you can still do it from home, but you're interacting with other people and it's, it's much, more, much more closely tied to what I think you know, 15 years ago we would have called a social experience.